Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to a very special edition of Sports Extra. I'm here at the PFF headquarters in Lahore. These are our very own headquarters for our very own football. Remember, the World Cup is now towards its final stages. Football fever is gripping all parts of the world and including Pakistan as well because we know our love for sports is beyond any means, but the love for football we have is truly amazing and for that very reason we've got a very very special guest in tonight's show as well we have uh, pakistan's very own football coach the coach of the national team coach nagara coach nagara welcome to sports extra thank you so much for your time thank you first good afternoon for the fans of uh, sport extra it's a pleasure that you stay here in the pff so nice i'm here ready, ready to ready talk to about football, football. To talk about football, absolutely. Right. I'll come to a very important question that everybody has to ask you. You're here in Pakistan. You've taken over the job. How are you seeing things right now in Pakistan with our national team? Well, first when the, they called me uh, about to be the coach of Pakistan was a big challenge for me. I was thinking about it. I studied, I studied, I said, yes, yeah, a good challenger. I want to do. I want. I want to be a coach of the Pakistan Football uh, Federation. I want to be the coach of the national team. So, I'm, no problem. I feel comfortable in this situation. So, how's the talent? You've been here for quite some time now, a couple of um, months, I think. But so you've been going around. You've been seeing the natural talent that Pakistan already has in your football books. How do you rate Pakistan's talent? Okay, first. When I arrived at, in, in Pakistan, the first port that I arrived at was Karachi. In this time, the Challenger Cup was running. So I, I have a chance to see many teams and many players. So I get a base to collect, to call the players for the national team. Of course, some players have a, a good ability and others not, but good shape, good physical uh, uh, situation, so very good fitness but you know we need to put all together not only technique not only fitness so all together but you have a talent in all the world have a talent yes of what not in Pakistan Pakistan you have a talent of course we know Koshar, that Pakistan like you said is a country blessed with talent a lot of talent here for football but if you look at international football now it's evolving there is new football new dimensions coming in especially if we see the World Cup We've seen a different level of football. Teams are more defensive and then they're attacking. And I know you know a lot about defense as well. So tell us about the modern football, how it's evolving. Can, can, I, can I put one point before that? You, you, you told me about talent in Pakistan. Yes, you have. But if you don't give for them ball, good extra tour, grounds, time to develop a and the clubs need to do this talent, development day by day, not only the national team, but the clubs need to do. If you have this chance, your talents go to development, growing, 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 growing. So go up. This is interesting. So if you have the talent, but you don't give the extra tour, the facilities for them, they cannot do nothing. You don't go to reach a high level of the football or in your region. First, we must need to think in your region. And after that, in Asia, to think in the whole world. So it's a step-by-step -step process. But obviously, the very first phase is about bringing football to the grassroots levels where we have so much love for football. We see these young children, and I think you'll agree that that's where we need to invest in. Definitely, you are right. You are 100% right. Uh, the investment is not only about money, but uh, the culture of football, and the people need to support as, as a fan, and of course, support as a, a structure as a, a, how can I say for you, the facilities need to be very good here. But you can do the second question, sorry. This point, I think that uh, I need to talk about. No, it's very important, and coming back to my question, which was that we're seeing a new dimension of football now being played, especially in the World Cup, which is underway in Russia. We saw that teams are more defensive. We're having less goals as compared to the last World Cup. So. How can we cope up to this new level of football? Why is it evolving so rapidly? First, you know, uh, in all the world, we have uh, very good coaches and the teams are preparing properly. Second, they know that they don't, don't have power 
to attack some strong teams. So they put the team in the defense zone, block all the zone, compact team around 35 meters, 30 meters, two lines, sometimes <laughs> one line with uh, four players, one line with five players, and only one in a deep, only one in front. And wait, 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 wait. When get a, a contra-attack and a, a, um, can see a good opportunity, contra-attack and try to score the goal and come back to stay. Because they don't have uh, confidence to play each other open, open game. Yes, because we saw the first time small teams against big teams, but very organized uh, national teams, very organized. Small countries, maybe the first time in the World Cup, or are not a superiority, but they are behind, waiting, and the correct time attack. Which do you, do you think is the best one? Do you think attacking football, or do you think staying at the defensive and waiting for an opportunity? No, no. I, I think for the World Cup, we must need to think open games. Yeah, uh, the, the the last teams in to the World Cup, not in the qualifying need to give for us a good show, a good, uh, fantastic movement of football and play, enjoy. So the public need to enjoy. Not only see one team attacking, both team need to attack him. both team need to do uh, uh, skill opportunities and formation difference and try to attack more and be more happy this football. We're seeing now that all sports, not just football, now need a think tank. They need a good strategy, good planning as well. It's not just skill anymore, but you have to think of strategies to polish that skill. So how do you think this will impact Pakistan's game in the future? Oh, this is very important. The tactic is part of, uh, of uh, the job for the team. Of course, did you ask me about the World Cup? It's part of the tactic, but you can sometimes put your team a little more in front. But it's a basic, a basic. The tactic in football now, the players need to, to be comfortable to get a good adaptation in these situations about we can mark individual, man to man, mix zone, what kind, compact. So many kinds of tactic of the defense and of course for the attack. And what about Pakistan right now? Where, what, what, what is happening right now? What are the plans right now for our national team? Like you said, the region is the first priority. Yes. So at present, what are we doing? Football was here, stop it, three years. Now we get again the time to develop a man. So we lost, the gap is so big. Three years stop, some players think, some players stop with 19 years, now 21. The players with 27 years, a good age, 28, 31, in three years, not friendly match, not international standard, nothing. So they lose the power, they lose the concentration, the focus and the techniques. And your opponents here, as opponents, same uh, in the region, Nepal, Bhutan, uh, Bangladesh, India, are continuing working in football, have a, a, a friendly match, move it, uh, national uh, competitions. We didn't have. Now we are doing that. So after three years, we start to have a friendly match in the, in the next, 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 uh, next week. We will start. Which country are we playing? We are going to Bahrain, to have a camp in Bahrain and start to have a friendly match there. Right, so that would be something which we would be very keen to see as football fans. Yes, but after three years. So uh, when you lose one day training, you need three days to recover this day that you lose. Think three years. Three years, a long time, long obviously. Time. But let's talk about the infrastructure right now in Pakistan. Yes. I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's very important. Of course, it's a slow process in investing because three years is a long time. We had nothing. So I, do you think we're going in the right direction? Do we have that much of resources and infrastructure to build a good team for the regional level? Uh, if we are talking about the national team, uh, the PFF give me for what I want, the PFF are give me. So in this point, very good. I receive all kind of material, all kind of support of PFF. The camp are going very well. In this point, I cannot say nothing. But of course, you need more time to develop and them again and to put in order the players, organizer again, organizer, uh, not only the structure of uh, tactic, but technique 
and physical trainers. But we are going in the correct way for the national team. But in my opinion, we need to force, we need to put the mind in the clubs too. The clubs need to be more organized and more strong and have a competition in a bro. And that's my next question, which I want to ask you, because all over the world we see that the, of course, international matches are very important, friendlies are very important, but tournaments at local level, in, in your district, in your clubs, in your schools, in your colleges are very important. Yes. What do you think is the best chance of Pakistan now? Do we get a good national championship in? Do we start with the youth sector under 19s, under 16s? Which is the best one? Yeah, who can, who can answer this question directly for you? Is uh, as the director of football, uh, Coach Shazat. He are doing a good plan about that. He, he, he are preparing one, a good uh, national uh, cup for the seniors and he is preparing now for the under 19 and under 17. So all club will be meet uh, under 17 and under, under 19 teams. So it's first step and after that, okay, you need to do the license. You need to prepare the license as a club. Uh, to, if you do this, I, I, I think in two, three years, the development of football will be very nice here. Now we know that football is changing. Like you said, a lot of counter-attacks are in place. Sometimes a defender has to run all the way towards the opponent goal and then come back yes. when an attack is taking place. So that's, that's why we need stamina. We need strength in our legs and you know a lot of fitness. Yeah. What is the routine like here in Pakistan? The diet of your players, the fitness of your players. How are you working on that? But you ask me about the national team or you ask me about the clubs or the... the uh, I guess we'll start with the national team and then, then how do you... The national team is totally different. We did a, a good plan. We prepare properly the, uh, the national team. We get one physical trainer. Yeah, now here with us, training properly the fitness. I'm training the technique and tactic. The staff is very good with me. Uh, we collect uh, good coaches, yeah, with our licensed coaches from AFC. So the group is good. If you talk about the diet, uh, talk about the, the style of the trainings, of course, the PFF are doing all very good. So we have a, a proper diet. Uh, the, the, the player is a different than a normal person. Yes, you need to eat different, more protein, no fat, more calories, and expand this in the correct trainings. So we are doing this very well. The schedule of the games, the schedule of the trainings, all are, are doing very well, are doing at this point very well. But in the clubs, we uh, can only talk about after Safa games. We are going to start to work in this point after Safa games. Now, I'm, I'm sure you're aware of the fact that Pakistan probably produces more footballs than any other country in the world. Now, the uh, football World Cup's official football, the Telstar in Russia, has also been manufactured in Pakistan. So, on one stage, we see it's such a big achievement that the equipment is going from here. And then obviously we want to see our team in the national colors over there as well. So a huge gap we need to fill. Uh, one point, in Brazil, when you keep the ball, made in Pakistan. <laughs> the ball is made in Pakistan. This is very interesting. The ball is made in Pakistan. So you need, you have the first point, the ball was more interesting. We can do, we can do, we can do. Of course, uh, the development, the activity of, of football need to be fast properly and I think we can get, we can get a good result in the future. Now if we, if we see Brazil, you come from a country which loves football, it's in their culture as well and if you compare the culture of Brazil, some sort of culture to Pakistan as well, we share the same love, we share the same enthusiasm, the same aggression and passion for football. How has your stay in Pakistan been so far? Passion for the people to love football is the same. Uh, but the, the development is, 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 is big difference. Uh, are big difference. All clubs in Brazil are professional. They are have for the under 13, under 15, under 17, 19, 21. So and all with a good performance. They are doing very good job. So uh, if you go straight in the football, this is a big difference about fans, about the passion, I think 
I, I love when uh, now uh, I went to another ground, I forgot the name, in a very close city, around 50 kilometers from here, and many children in the ground come to, together of players, and my players uh, be happy with them, play with them, was, was very nice, was very nice. So I think th it, this atmosphere needs to be in all Pakistan. Right. There is a lot of question of Pakistan being a safe country for sports now. And I would love to talk about this because somehow we've been deprived of international sports in our own home grounds. So I think you over here can be a great ambassador in telling the world that Pakistan is absolutely fine for sports. Of course, of course. Uh, you know, uh, what's happened in Pakistan is the same in Brazil. When the people think sometime in another countries, oh, you are going to Brazil, the capital of Brazil is Buenos Aires. No, the capital of Brazil is Brasilia. They don't think uh, very well about that. No, here is very nice, very good to stay. Uh, I feel very comfortable. And to play football here or, uh, or any kind of sport, it's so safe, it's so good, no problem. No problem. Right. The facilities here are very good. So uh, my team are using the swimming pool of uh, Punjab uh, in the complex. It's very nice, very good complex. The standard. standard very good. So we're, gi we're giving them complete exposure to international facilities, yes. swimming, diet, yeah. the gym, and the uh, football fields as well. Yes, I, I think maybe you, uh, in the future you need to change the political of the high schools, schools. Yes, uh, about the sport. Introduce more sport, more activity, day by day in the life of the children. I think this is point, the, the point that we need to do. Uh, you talk about Brazil football, but you don't for, you forgot that we are champion in volleyball, we are champion in handball, yes? Uh, all collective sports, we are champion in the world and gold medal. Individual, same, judo, athletic teams, in F1 racing, <laughs> Senna three times, Piquet three times, uh, Fittipaldi two times. So Brazil is a, a sport country, yeah? Not only football, you have beach soccer, you have volleyball, uh, beach volleyball, you have a futsal, many kinds. Right, now I'm gonna move our focus to the World Cup which is happening in Russia. Brazil have qualified for the round of 16. I'm sure you're very happy seeing that team as well. Uh, obviously, it's a huge gap when you see the likes of legends like Ronaldinho, uh, Carlos, Carlos was there, Ronaldo was there, Kaká was there. But then coming in from a new generation, now you've got a new hero like Neymar Jr. Right? How do you see Brazil's future prospects so far? Well, uh, in between 2010, 2014, uh, uh, CBF have uh, some problems inside. Yes, and we get, uh, we keep a good, a very bad, uh, sorry, very bad get. And um, we need to jump one step. So. William, Coutinho, they are younger for to be in the, in, the, in the World Cup. So we keep them before. I think for the next Cup, they will be 100% maturity. And Coutinho, uh, William, uh, and other guys are coming. In, uh, Gabriel Jesus, it's only 20 years, Gabriel Jesus. So the next Cup, they get the maturity and high level in the world. And this World Cup has been very interesting because we've seen a lot of new teams, a lot of new talent. And these low-ranked teams, teams like Iran, Nigeria, Senegal even played very well, I thought. So they've proven that they have that skill. Which team has impressed you the most out of these low-ranked teams? Belgium. If you saw Belgium, the maturity of the game of Belgium is so high. It's different than another, another countries. Island try, but don't have the maturity. Belgium now, but not the first cup of uh, Belgium. Belgium all the time are in the best eight, sometimes not, but in the less, I think, less four World Cups, in the best eight. So Belgium are doing a good job. Well, time now for a short break. We'll continue our discussion with Coach Nadella. We've got a lot to talk about, especially the World Cup in general, because it is a football festival all around the world. Stay tuned to Sports Extra.
Well, welcome back to Sports Extra. We have our special guest still here with us at the PFF headquarters in Lahore, Coach Nagara. And now we're going to be talking about a little more about Pakistan, some future stars we can get. What are his plans from moving towards the region, towards international games, which are very important. Of course, one day we want to see Pakistan also participating in the FIFA World Cup as well. A long shot, but obviously achievable. Right, Coach Nagara, I must ask you this. Do you see any future stars in the making? We know Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar are one of the names everybody loves. What about Pakistan? Yes, very good question. Uh, we need one reference, yeah, of course. But let me say something. Now we have a, a good generation. The boys around uh, born in 2002, 2001, 99, 98, it's a good generation. So they need have time. We have some, some boys that I think in more two, three years, because the technique is very good, different technique, they will be, they will be a very good names for you. So I think after, after these tournaments, after the Asia Games and Safa, I can give a good names for you. But of course, in this moment I cannot say, because we are in the camp, it's not, not uh, comfortable to say the names for the other players. But we have a, a new generation is coming. So give time and we are going to work in this. Right, now let's talk about your exact plan because you said three years was a gap which is too big. So what are your plans? How much time are you looking to invest in Pakistan? What do you see? Do you see a gap of another couple of years before we move on to the big stage of international football? Yes, uh, we, we did one plan. Yes, of course. We need to be a reference. First, to be a reference in us region, yes, uh, you have uh, opponents, a uh, board opponents, of course, my respect for all countries side by side to, to, to Pakistan. But we are trying to be a uh, reference in the region. And after that, of course, of course be a, 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 a potential team in Asia. To do this is not easy, but you need to do, you need to do this in your paper. You need to write what you want to go your program, all these things. Of course, in one year is less time, but give me two years and we can get a good position again in the ranking and in the zone. I think it's a good way. But there are a lot of domains of football. Of course, there's a striker, there's a defender, there's wingman, and obviously the center, the middle is obviously the most important aspect. I must ask you this question because it's my personal favorite. Are we seeing good goalkeepers in Pakistan? At this point, it's very, very good. We have, yes, yes. I'm, I'm satisfied with my goalkeepers in the camp, and I have two goalkeepers in Abro. Yeah, uh, Sakib is in Abro now, Yusuf is in Abro now. So, two good keepers, talent go goalkeepers, one with good experience, international experience, and uh, Sakib now is, is young, is in Abro too and are getting more experience. In this point, I'm very comfortable. I don't have problem. I think about goalkeepers, yes, we have. We need to train better them, give a more uh, specific training about technique of the goalkeepers and tactical about goalkeepers. And of course, our, uh, we are working with a uh, goalkeeper coach and we will have an uh, interchange with another country about the goalkeepers coach. Right now, I must ask you this, what about the female team as well? We know we have some very good female football players in Pakistan. Are you ready to lend a hand to them as well, wherever they need it? And what's the talent like in the female sector? Yes, the woman football is not in my, 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 my responsibility here. But uh, Coach Azad can answer this. They are uh, getting a, a, a one coach, especially for the women. Now we have a tournament, one challenger cup here in Lahore with uh, under 16 in this uh, uh, maybe 12 teams 12 teams are, are, are continue now maybe it's in the quarterfinals now teams from Punjab teams from Karachi teams from Islamabad for many areas one area I forgot I, maybe it's near Kuwait I think so very far very far very far they are coming so the, the, the girls are happy to be here and very nice when I saw the, the, the people there the fans there support on the families so it was very nice what i see but i'm not charged in in the, in the, in the team of, of girls but they are doing a uh, good work 
So do you think now, like you said, the region is first priority of, of your, your team as well. But what do you think about the league structure, the clubs? How can we improve on the club structure? Do you think we need to franchise them as we see in international clubs being owned by big corporate giants and that's how we can get good funding in and make good players? Uh, of course, the football is a business. Yeah, first point, F football uh, is a good business in all world. Uh, the priority is the clubs must need to organize it very well. If you get one chance to go to AFC Cups, it's very good, it's very strong. And of course, you spend money, but at the same time, you can get in another way and develop them and the boys. So you must need to inject the, the, the money uh, properly in organizer. First, organizer. Second, prepare the players for the future. What do you think about a youth cup? Because like we say, it's very important, not just under 17s, but even if we go a little more back, under 12s, under 15, uh, there are also children who need passion for football. So you think we need to have tournaments in school levels as well? Yes, in the school levels. Uh, yes, first they need to, 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 to feel the football difference be happy, be fun. So, it's more tournaments in the regions, it's, uh, you must need. Uh, if you can do not only one per year, but you need to have four minimum per year in one region. And after that, in, in, in the big regions and, and all country. So, you need many, many kinds of tournaments. It's more tournaments, uh, uh, 10 against 10 team clubs, yes. And after that, the champion of this region play against another regions and you are developing this very well so we need we need pakistan need that what about classic football league i'm sure you've heard of that yes I think it's yes a good progress. yes yes pff are supporting them yeah of course classic uh, football are coming to to put more enjoy the football more happy so mix is very good and it will be very enjoyed for uh, for the fans what about futsal? We, we see a younger generation now moving more towards futsal, six aside, seven aside, less focus on the bigger fields, the fields are smaller, less stamina, and games are getting more intense. What do you think? Do you think it's helping football or do you think it's taking us away? Sure, of course. Uh, you need to understand the difference between futsal and six against six, seven against seven, and a grass or artificial pitch. Futsal is the basic for development for football. Now in Brazil, most of the young boys are getting the technique in five against five, but in futsal, yes, inside, uh, inside of the gymnasium, they're preparing, they play football, they move many kinds of skills, anything. And after that, step by step are going to the ground. So after that, between 12 years are going to the ground, six, like six seven against seven, after that, eight, against eight, the pitch more, uh, more uh, bigger, yeah, because we start with reduced grounds, and after that you are open, open, open the ground into normal, regular size. Right, now let me ask you this question, you've brought in professional trainers, professional physicians as well, obviously, you yourself are a professional coach, a registered one, so what about getting the prospects of more international help for Pakistan because obviously we need international support in this whether it's we're playing a friendly against an international side whether it's a training uh, MOU signed with a country like maybe Belgium, Russia who have good football infrastructure do you think that is another thing we need to work on? Yes of course the interchange is very good you only know where are you if you challenge her with an opponent sometimes a strong opponent sometimes for your area but you need to have this interchange is very important. Now, uh, for these uh, three years, I have a contact with uh, some, some coaches you know, for all countries, especially in Asia. You must need to do that. Interchange. Interchange studies, technology, know-how, all these things. If you are only in your home, not open the doors, don't try to get more, more technology, more, more know-how, you don't get the development. What about inviting teams to Pakistan? Do you think playing at your own home is very important? Yes, for the next, for the next year, yes, we will do that. First, now we are moving abroad to have a normal camp and, and friendly matches. After that, 
After three years, we go to Asian, Asian Games, under 23, and uh, Safa Cup. So we start again. And we are trying to up, go up in the ranking of FIFA. And do you think by that time those tournament come in and we will be ready for those tournament and we have a chance of getting a good ranking in those tournament as well? Well, we are trying. Uh, ASEAN Games are not given for us point in the FIFA ranking, but SAFA Cup, yes. But uh, the importance of ASEAN Games is for all community of the young football will be there. Will be there. Korea, Japan, China, Iran, yeah, so uh, Jordan, uh, and others, and others countries, strong countries from Asia will be there, will be there. So we must need to be there to, to, to play against them. And it's very important for the players to understand not just the skills of football, but the rules and regulations of football as well. So are you having any seminars, workshop for the players to understand the fouls? Now we know VAR is a new technology that's been introduced in football as well. So players need to understand and get knowledge of a lot of things now. Of course, it's part of the job of them. It's part. The football you cannot only play now. If you want to be in a professional football, you must need to study football to see football, uh, talk about that, and of course, study the rules. It's, it's very important. If you don't know how to do one tackle, how you, uh, you can, the distance of, of the wall, uh, many things you need to know. Yes, it's very important. And what do you think about VAR in general? Do you think it's a, there are a lot of criticism, uh, there's a lot of criticism against it as well, but I personally think that it, it's a good step forward. What do you think about that? It's a good step, but uh, at the same point, it, it, it's, it's difficult because sometimes with, you, you are using VAR, Okay, was penalty or no was penalty? So the point of, of the camera, the angle of the camera, so it's, it's so nice. Until now, the technology come, but football is a passion, you know, say no, not penalty, was penalty, no, including the video, yes? But I think very, very good resolution about FIFA to introduce in the World Cup. It's not easy to introduce in all world because the, the, the money is not, not, it's very expensive to, to have this kind of technology. But about national teams, about the World Cup, Asia Games, uh, international match, it's very important. Right. One more thing I would like to ask, which is very important, not just the players, but is it important or are we working on training officials as well? Because referees in Pakistan is another part we need to work on. What do you think about that? Yeah, this is not my area. I don't, want, I don't like to talk about referees. But of course, uh, uh, these days, these previous days, uh, we have a meeting here. So there are refreshments. The, the referees here, uh, I think about 12 or 15 referees were here. And they refreshment about the rules, the new rules that FIFA sent uh, to us here in PFF. So they did a meeting, a workshop with the referees. It was a good, good, good work. Mr. Rashid worked very well with them. Right. Now coming towards the World Cup once again, which is very important. What can you predict as an experienced player yourself? I know this is the, probably the most unpredictable World Cup right yes. now, but what do you predict? Because you already said Belgium is one team. What are your predictions for the last four? Okay, you're right. Now this World Cup is very interesting about that. Uh, so Germany come back. Germany lose two games. The people didn't believe, oh, What's happened? What's happened? World, world champion. If you yeah. don't prepare yourself, no. not only technique, not only tactic, but psychological, you come back. If you feel that you are the best in the world, you come back. So in this moment, Belgium are, are, are very good. Argentina qualifying. When Argentina come to the Q to Q games, uh, is a strong. We have, of course, Spain and Portugal. They will have a very important matches. The best eight, I think Brazil can, can be in the best eight. I, I prefer, I will be more comfortable if we go to the best four. But in the best eight, I think Brazil go in front. So we have Mexico, we have uh, uh, um, so-so performance. He, they, they, they beat uh, German. And after that, they lose the next game. So, you know, uh, this this uh, go up, go down, go up, go down in this World Cup is very interesting. But in my opinion, Brazil, Belgium, uh, now is coming Argentina, uh, Portugal and Spain. What about Uruguay? Yeah. How do you see Uruguay? Uruguay did very well in the first group, but 
let's go to see the second, the second stage, because the group of, uh, of Russia and Uruguay, little more comfortable. Right. I, I want to ask you this, why is it important, or what do you think? Because a lot of Pakistanis have football fan, are football fans of players from around the world, not just Neymar, Ronaldo, and Messi, because, but a lot of other names, like we saw Salah is, is another uh, name coming up. Frost we saw Kane, Kane is another mm. player, we've got Hazard, we've uh, got Morara. So do you think having these legends as your ideal can help you towards improving your skills as well? Yes, yes, of course, of course. If uh, when, when the child got a passion for a specific player, they try to, to, to see what they are doing, what kind of movements, what kind of, of shooting, the power, the resistance, the body of them. Uh, let me say something, Portugal, Cristiano Ronaldo. So in my country, Brazil, many, many children love Cristiano Ronaldo. Yes, you know why? The style of, of him, yes? And try to do the same thing, thing, the same thing. They are not only thinking in, in Neymar or Coutinho or William, but uh, for the best players in the world. And maybe because the name is very important as well, Ronaldo? <laughs> maybe, Cristiano yes. Ronaldo, yes, yes. 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 And another player to look out for in this World Cup from Brazil is, like you mentioned, Gabriel Jesus, because 20 years of age, yes. and this shows us that we can have young talent at a big stage and they can improve. Yes, of course. Yeah, Gabriel Jesus, I, I know him because he's from Sao Paulo and he came from Palmeiras. A uh, young boy, get a good development, uh, good player. In the future, will be on the best center for wars, center for wars in the in the world. He will be. Coutinho is, is very, very, very good, very good player. And of course, we cannot forget uh, William. Good technique, nice performance in English uh, Premier League. Yes. yes, so very important player. Yes, of course, Neymar now. He was injured, now he's come back. The last game was a little better because the, the first two games are not in good shape and not good confidence. Lose many balls, many things, but in the last, last game, I feel him different. So you think he's coming back to his form now? I hope so, I hope so. I hope Obviously, so. right, Coach and Gary, now we'll move towards the closure of our program. Is there any message you would like to give to all those young boys in Pakistan who love football and who want to wear those national green colors on, on, on themselves as well? Yes, let me say, when I, when I arrive at the grounds, when I, I, I'm the grounds, when I, I, I play with the, the, the boys, I ask them, oh, what, what team do you support? So they say to me, oh, Argentina, oh, Brazil. I say, no, first, Pakistan. After that, you can like another team, but first, Pakistan. So my point for you is, is this. Love your country. Let's go to put your flag more high as possible because Pakistan have a football. Pakistan have a national team. So do the best. Support us. Believe it's not easy step by step, but love your country. Love your football because Pakistan in the next next few years will be in a good ranking in the world. Inshallah. And can you just say Pakistan Zindabad for us? You can you me. help me? Pakistan. <laughs> Pakistan. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Right, a question that it's an honor. It's because of people like you, because is, you. is why we have hope, and we uh -huh. believe that with all your knowledge and all your help, we truly believe that we can go forward in the field of football and sports in general as well. So I must say that we are more than happy, and we want you to feel as you felt in Brazil that this is your home as well. So it's been an honor having you. Yeah. Right, that was Coach Nagara, our very own Coach Nagara now. I won't say he's just from Brazil, but he's a part of Pakistan now. He is a Pakistani. And like he said, that in a couple of years, we will obviously be going towards something great for Pakistan football. And that's what we pray for. And we have the talent, like he said. All we need to do is put Pakistan first because it's our country, it's our home, it is our identity. And that's all we have for time here at Sports Extra. Stay tuned for more. Allah Hafiz.